northeast tip of North America, on an island called Newfoundland, there's an airport. And next to it is a town called Gander. Welcome to The Rock. If you come from away, you'll probably understand about a half of what we say. They say no man's an island, but an island makes a man, especially when one comes from one like Newfoundland. Welcome to The Rock. Welcome to the wildest weather that you've ever heard of, where everyone is nicer, but it's never nice above. Welcome to the farthest place you'll get from Disneyland. Fish and chips and shipwrecks, this, this is Newfoundland. Welcome to the rock. I'm an islander, I am an islander. shelters with thousands of passengers arriving at any minute. The town is asking for your help. Well, anything you can do. We're still I saw on the news that they're looking for blankets and bedding and maybe some food. Do you know what they need and how much? I need something to do. Cause, Cause I can't watch the news anymore. Can I help? Is there something I need to do? Something to keep me from thinking of all of those scenes on the tube. I need something to do cause I can't watch the news. No, I can't watch the news anymore. In the winter from the water through the wind. If the stranger ends up at your door. Hello, this is Beulah Davis down at the Academy. I heard we might be getting some guests, and I thought I'd see if I could help who's ever in charge of getting the school organized. How many passengers can we take? Oh, well, we fit about 400 students. Yes, we could probably do 600, or, or sure, 700 if we really pack them in. When are they coming? Could be any time now. Well, I'm glad I phoned. Medicine, toothpaste, underwear, aspirin, jackets our kids grew out of last summer. And down at the station, we're taking donations out by the door. Holy moly, there's more. It's better than being at home alone, wondering what's really happening. Everyone's phoning. We're setting rats up in the school. We'll be crying all afternoon, wondering what can be done. How do you know what you need when you don't know how many you're needing to feed? When you don't know how many are staying, how long they are staying? We better start praying. The weather stays nice. In the winter, from the water. 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 In the winter from Are we gonna be ready? Well, we have to be, don't we? Finally, out of the darkness, my bus arrives at the Salvation Army camp. Out of the darkness. We pass through a large gate, and the bus pulls to a stop. And through the windows, out there in the darkness, we see all these people coming out of the buildings. Out of the darkness. We rarely use them, but everyone's dusted off their Salvation Army uniforms to welcome these people. There are soldiers everywhere. Out of the darkness. The man at the front opens the door. I say, here you are. Out you go. But he doesn't understand. And he's not getting out. None of them are. But then I notice his wife. Well, she's clutching a Bible. Now, obviously, I can't read it. But their Bible. It'll have the same number system ours does. So? I asked to see it. And then, in Philippians 4, 6, I give him their Bible, and I'm pointing, saying, look, Philippians 4, 6, be anxious for nothing. Be anxious for nothing. And that's how we started speaking the same language. language. 